Okay, hi. Um, I made this new camera here, because I thought that the old camera that we had was a bit, like, useless, really, because, I mean, you have it here. Okay, and then you have to rotate it and stuff to get to the point where you want it to. And it's like, one second, I'll just change this so you can see what I mean. Oops. Sorry, if the mouse is bad, our battery is not working very well. Okay, so you have to like rotate it here and then like rotate it here and then move it up here a bit and so on. And then say you wanted to like move it over here in an animation, then you'd have to move it over there and then rotate it back and all kinds of crap to get it fixed to do that. So as you can see, it's not that great. I mean, there are ways of doing it better, but it's still kind of slow. Right. Okay, so I've made a new camera, because I got sick of that. Which is basically where you have this empty here, and this empty here. And the camera here is parented to this one. Because if you parent the... Uh, if it's not parented, then it actually tracks from here, which doesn't work. So this empty here is parented to... Errors... Uh, this... Sorry, I'll start again. Okay. This parented to this. This has track 2 constraint for this. Right? Okay, so... To show you how this works. If I move this here, which I can move however I like, as you can notice, that the camera is actually following it. Right? So, if I want to look at this monkey, the easiest thing to do, so much easier than the other ways, I just put that there, and then it's looking at it. So, I'll just change this. Right? Okay. Now you can see that that's quite useful, but... Now here's where the real use comes in. I can then move the camera. I can move it independently like this if I wanted to. Or I can use this and then move the camera, but it'll stay looking at the same place. Now as you can see, it's going to be very useful for animators, because it saves so much time. I mean, before you could make like a curve or something, and then have it track to that, but it's, it's really messy where you could just have this. So what I could do is I can go to... Animation insert location for that move along to here say move this up to here insert location again All right, just go back to model because I have the screens already there and then I can just do this and then you can see that it doesn't like that see and you can see how easy it was to get a really nice like flow track motion like in the movies so I just I got really sick of having to like rotate this one here around and stuff so anyway it's very simple but incredibly useful I think so if you want to use it go ahead yeah you can just move around like that and you can still move this again after and like that and so on very useful you can move it wherever you like but then again also you can still if you choose the camera you can still rotate the camera independently although I'm not really sure why you'd want it. 